Hey there, welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Casey and this is Jenny and we're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today we're using skewers to put a fun spin on pizza night. That's right Casey, today we're making pizza on a stick. This is such a fun recipe. It is. And it's exactly what it, it sounds like. Yeah. So Super simple. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so to get started, I'm going to go ahead and finish up cutting up this green pepper. I have some already done. Um, green pepper is a super popular pizza ingredient, so mm -hmm. perfect for this pizza on a stick. So I'm simply just chopping it into like one inch pieces. Yes, so while Jenny's finishing up with that, I'm going to get started with assembling our skewers. So for our ingredients today, we have mushrooms. Uh, we have sliced today, but whole would definitely work well. Uh, we also have some grape tomatoes. We have some red onion that we've also sliced into kind of those one inch slices. Um, we have turkey pepperoni, and then we also have some chicken sausage. So this is um, kind of like an Italian flavor, and it came in links. So we just cut it up, again, in kind of those one-inch slices. Um, and it's, it comes fully cooked, so we just stuck it on the stove to brown it for a few minutes. Um, because everything is fully cooked um, in our skewer, we just end up sticking it in the oven to warm it up. Yes. And we picked these toppings, but it's definitely customizable. You can use whatever toppings your favorite pizza toppings are, as long mm -hmm. as they fit on the skewer. Yes. So, like, olives would probably be a popular one. I you don't like them. do not like olives. But I do. So <laughs> keep those away from me. But, yes, those would be a popular one. Um, pineapple would probably yes. be. I bet that would be delicious. Yeah, especially in the oven. It will get all like roasty and sweet. Mm -hmm. Those would be really good. And if you're doing pineapple, you might as well stick some Canadian bacon on there. Oh, yeah. That nice kind of Hawaiian twist. These are really fun, too, because um, kind of like if you make like individual like personalized pizzas, mm -hmm. everybody can make their own with whatever toppings they like. Which also helps to spread the work around in the kitchen, which is never a bad thing. Exactly. This is something that the whole family can do. Yes. These are perfect for um, like a weeknight meal because they're super simple and quick. Um, it would also be really fun for like a game day um, appetizer. Yeah. And again, you could either make these for your guests or have them assemble it yes. with you be fun too. All right. We'll just make a couple here. So one thing that we didn't mention is you want to leave a little bit oops, of skewer at the top because mm -hmm. we will be putting some pizza dough on there. Yes. So we'll do that for our next step. Clear some of these away. Um, we have some pizza dough, um, pizza crust dough from our bakery. So today we're just using our wheat dough, but white would certainly work as well. Um, and I've just rolled this out to about a quarter of an inch thick. You don't really need it that thick um, for going on the skewers. So I'm just going to slice these into strips. Let's see, we only need four right now. Yes. So the strips are about an inch thick. Yep. An inch is really kind of the golden number yeah. <laughs> for this <laughs> recipe. So what we're going to do now is take a strip and you kind of stick it through um, the end of the skewer. So it rests on top, and then wrap it around. We're going to leave some room for all those veggies and other toppings to peek through. And then when you get to the bottom, just kind of wrap it around and pinch it shut. It doesn't need to be super secure, because it'll kind of bake together. OK, fun. You are clearly better at doing this than I am. I have had, had a practice. little bit more experience, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yes, I was. Um, in charge of when we tested these and Jenny was taking photos as she usually does. So, so yes, so that's what we do for those. Um, and then we're going to spray them real quick um, with some cooking spray just to really help that crust get nice and golden brown. Yes, and now they're going to bake at 400 for about 20 minutes or until the veggies are tender crisp and that crust is golden brown, as you mentioned. And we have yes. some that has already been done. Yep, so I'll scoot this out of the way. So these have already been done, um, and now we're going to sprinkle our cheese on top. So yes. we just have regular shredded mozzarella cheese. Um, we're going to be pretty generous with this. Yes. So this recipe makes 12 skewers. Yes. We have six here, and we assembled four just now. Right. Yeah, so you could always cut it in half if, mm -hmm. you know, you don't necessarily need 12. So or this feeds the crowd. Double so it's perfect. If you need to. Yes. <laughs> yep. So I'll get about half of this cheese on there. Yum. 
Perfect. All right, now this will go back in the oven for just a few more minutes or until the cheese is nice and melted. All right, oh my gosh. These look good. They also sound very good because that cheese is sizzly. Oh, yum. Nice and melty. It's like Beautiful. Pools of cheese. What more could you want? Exactly. Oh, okay. These are going to be a little warm, but I think we should try them. Yes. So we're serving them with just some pizza sauce that we've warmed up for dipping. Ooh, Ooh look, look at, at that. that. Cheese pull. Yes. Love that. Get a little dip of pizza sauce. Okay, so there's definitely cheese on this pan, and I would pick it off and eat it. Oh, for sure. You don't <laughs> let that go to waste. Mmm, <laughs> so good. It's all the best flavors of pizza. Yes. In stick form. <laughs> what more could you want? <laughs> exactly. Well, stick with your favorite pizza toppings with these delicious skewers. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit festfoods.com.